witness to the youth and children of our church. Let us be lit up by the love that they share with us and the wisdom that they are embodying as they tell us again the Christmas story. Today, we come to celebrate the story of Jesus' birth. It is a messy, wonderful story about a time and place when heaven touches earth, when divinity meets dirt and dung. This story connects us to the narratives of our own tradition because we are the children of God, carry, um, carrying on the story of our spiritual ancestors. So it is important to remember that Jesus was born into a faithful Jewish household. He was fam familiar with the words of the Psalms. He found them to be powerful, to be a powerful way to offer praise. Let's listen to a few verses. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise the Lord in the heights. Praise the Lord, all you angels, praise the Lord, all you hosts. Praise the Lord, sun and moon, praise the Lord, all you shining star stars. Praise the Lord, you highest heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Jesus also used psalms to pray. <clears throat> and he called up for comfort and help from the time he was a boy until the end of his life. <clears throat> Here's one psalm he used. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Jesus was honest with God, sharing his feelings and thoughts. He also used psalms to express gratitude and delight. Listen. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Now let's reflect on words from the prophet Isaiah. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born, Isaiah was pointing the way towards God, giving hope to people living in exile. The prophet Isaiah's words tell about the coming of Emmanuel, which means God with us. Jesus referred to Isaiah's writings when he was preaching and teaching. The writers of the Gospels heard the words of Isaiah's prophecies and thought they foretold the coming of Jesus. As Christians, we believe that Jesus arrived among us as our Messiah. We hear Isaiah's words ringing with hope for our times and our people too. Let's listen. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The people who walked in the darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother's sheep. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. Sing the Lord a new song. Sing the Lord's, sing the Lord's praise from the end of the earth. And we invite you to join us for the first three verses of hymn 132. Please stand for you. O come, all you may.
Luke, we hear the story of Jesus' birth. Luke writes that in time, when Herod was king of Judea, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth. The angel visited a young woman named Mary, engaged to a man Joseph, descended from the house of David. And the angel came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive and bear a son. He will be, you will name him Jesus, and he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. How can this be? The child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. For nothing will be impossible with God. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your Lord. And the angel departed from her. This is one of the few places in the Hebrew scriptures or gospel stories when we hear a woman's voice in full. Let's listen to part of Mary's poetic response to the angel's visit. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in my God, my Savior. For the Lord has looked with favor on the loneliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is the Lord's name. Soon a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. Joseph went from Nazareth in Galilee to the city called Bethlehem in Judea, where his ancestors had lived. Joseph went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. Bethlehem sits in the hill country, about 10 miles south of Jerusalem, and its name means House of Bread. Joseph and Mary walked for six days to get to Bethlehem. We invite you to join us for the first two verses of Ham 151. O town of Bethlehem, be scanned very well.
In the Gospel of Luke, we learn how regular people of that time found out about Jesus. Although it's winter for us, it was spring for them. Luke writes about how shepherds living in the spring fields keep on watch over their flock by night. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them as they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing the good news of great joy for all the people to you is born this day in the city of David is a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among whom whom God favors. We invite you to join us in the first two verses of hymn 135. Angels, we have heard on high. Child was. 
When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The spirit of the wise ones journey to offer their gifts in the newborn Messiah. We invite you to prepare your gifts for this morning of offering while we enjoy the joy of gifts in the music. The choir.
having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Other stories in the Gospel tell us more about how Jesus' childhood and his work as a grown man connecting his people to healing, hope, justice, and mercy. Eventually, Jesus asked his followers to continue that work, and then they asked the next generation and the next, and were still being called to work for healing, hope, and wholeness among people and creation even now. For today, though, we celebrate the beginning of the story, some of its magical and miraculous, in this morning's narration, after centuries of silence, God drew near, angels filled the night with song, and a star burned bright in the deep sky. On the other hand, along with this story is simply human. A mother overcame fear with faith, and a worried father prayed through his doubt. Both of them chose to risk themselves for love, knowing it would take them into difficult places as well as bright ones, right from the start. Some people, then, like now, feared the power of love and meant to hurt the baby. Others were inspired by love and acted to welcome and protect him. Working men and women discovered hope close to home, while others traveled a long time and a great distance to find their answers. Ultimately, we retell the story to remind ourselves that we're not so different from the people of that time. We realize that the story is still unfolding, that we are part of it. We still want me, Emmanuel, called Jesus to ride and walk among us. This Christmas story changed the people of Jesus' time and is still changing us. Today, like his first family, we once more welcome Jesus into our lives, just as the shepherds came to him and the wise ones traveled bearing gifts, we bring ourselves to this child Jesus, who is God's gift to us. Listen to the Gospel of John as a final thought for this morning. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What he came come into the beginning in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not 